peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening. It is Lashay Miller, right? And I'm back with another episode. And today we're going to talk about overcoming comfort zones and why it's important that you overcome the things that you struggle with most because those things hold you back. Those things hold you bound and you cannot grow when you walk and you live in comfort zones. So I'm learning a lot about myself in the process of overcoming comfort zones you learn a lot about yourself and it's not that you don't already know those things about yourself it's just that now that you have to overcome something like a comfort zone you have to face it you have to overcome it you know what I'm saying so you can't no longer just remain in comfort you have to get over the comfort in which holds you bound and keeps you in one place and keeps you from prospering and growing to the place where you want to be so I've been really having to work really hard on my self-care lately and I do personal development a lot right but there's some skills and there's some things that I am not particularly good at and I will admit that I'm not a perfect person And I don't believe a person should be perfect. I I believe it that I don't believe in perfection. I believe that you should always live for improvement. And there's room for growth for everybody, including myself. So what I'll say is, it's hard. I won't lie. I won't say that overcoming things is, is easy. Because there's a certain amount of pain that comes with overcoming certain comfort zones and it really depends on what it is and who you are as a person and what you struggle with and what skills you're trying to get and what you're trying to get in life right your goals dreams your aspirations in this process you learn a lot about yourself and what you can overcome in the process but you also learn a lot of things that you hold in and a lot of things that you struggle with and a lot of things that are holding you back that if you would just let go of your need for control or your need for comfort or your need for um or your your fear that it might not turn out how you want it to be if you let go of those things you could truly grow now i will say that yes it ultimately does hurt to overcome things and overcome comfort zones because a lot of comfort zones have you anxious have you overwhelmed can even cause you to be stressed out or frustrated I won't act like it doesn't put pressure on you but your ability to let go of control let go of what you can't change and work on what you can every single day every single day if you know something that is you need to work on then work on it i literally took the initiative to write everything that I'm weak in everything that I know I'm poor skilled in everything I know that I need to work on everything I know that's holding me back from being a successful entrepreneur a successful business owner a successful um effective companion or a good friend or a greater mentor you know whatever whatever I'm doing Um, or whatever I'm involved in, whatever is holding me back, I write everything that I lack in skill or whatever comfort zones that I have that is holding me back, I write those things down. And I hold myself completely accountable to get to the place where I want to be, but I have to overcome the things that I struggle with the most by working on it daily after day. And I know it's not easy who's expecting it to be who said it would be easy who said it would be hard nobody but either way you could choose to remain and have to face the same thing over over again or you can overcome it grow and have a new problem to face and then find a new solution to overcome it ultimately in life we make decisions, we make decisions to remain or change. And change does require a process. Remaining doesn't. You can stand still and not make an effort. 
you can stay in one place and be stagnant. You can be frustrated and stressed and worried about your future and never act upon it. Or you can go in the direction where there's a lot of resistance, where you're facing the wind. Everything goes towards the wind. A bird flies against the wind. Planes fly against the wind. And you must learn to fly against the wind. You must fly against adversary. You must overcome comfort zones. You must know that you are enough. Know that you have it to overcome it. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying it's completely hard. But if you believe in yourself enough that you can do it, it doesn't matter how hard or easy it is. As long as you do what it is that you must in order to obtain or achieve what it is that you want. And ultimately, the biggest thing is never giving up. Because you you should never give up on your dreams, your goals, your desires. Why? Why would you give up? Who would want that? Nobody would want to give up before they even know it's possible. All things are possible. I believe in infinite possibilities. And I know there's a time and a place for everything. And I do believe that when we come to a place in our minds, our hearts, our spirits, and our souls, and realize that we are enough, and learn to not be so hard on ourselves, that we can ultimately just be happy and be content until we obtain the things we want. So contentment is a good thing because you want to always have this gratitude mindset gratitude attitude you want to be thankful for what you have and be content with it but you don't want to be comfortable to the point where you're not growing or you're not um, open-minded to opportunities or you're not learning you want to always be in a position of growth when it comes to being better being your greatest self it requires you to overcome things and it and Overcoming things requires a process, and in process, that's change. And then you get progress, and then ultimately you become whatever it is you desire, you achieve whatever it is you want, but you must believe. Belief is the hardest thing anyone can do, but it's the most easy thing you can choose for yourself. So ultimately decide today. I love you all. Hope you guys have a prosperous day. I know... I love making valuable content for you guys. Also, check out my YouTube channel. You actually get to physically see my face and get to see me talk like I do on here. But on here, you don't physically see me. But ultimately, no matter where you want to listen to me at, whether it's on Spotify, on here, Anchor, or Apple, um, anywhere you need me to be, YouTube, you can find me anywhere. I love you guys.